Hello, everyone. I pray we are blessed. I pray that God helps us in our everyday life. I want you to imagine something. Imagine being a child. Um, I guess from the age you can speak and tell from there to let's say 18. Imagine not having your words validated. Imagine like, you know, if you had something to say about something, like no one really cares. In fact, your parents will would tell you to be quiet be quiet and do this like imagine not being able to express your feelings straightly but respectfully to your parents imagine being told so much that your opinion doesn't matter you don't know what you are talking about. Like almost all the time, you don't know what you are talking about. Uh, what you have to say doesn't matter. Just do what I say and that's it. Okay, let's say you are older now. Let's say from 15 through 60 or until death. How are you going to feel if someone challenges you, chances are you may act out of anger. If someone doesn't allow you to express yourself, you may, what is that called? Like um, passive aggressiveness. I think that is what it is called, and sarcasm in a bad way. You may begin to insult. You may begin to say rude things if someone is choosing not to value what you have to say. So your anger may be explosive, or you may be very passive aggressive in the negative things you are saying now take all that i have said and look at some people in your life or some people you may pass aren't some of those people like that i think it is very easy to say hey this person has a problem this person has a mental issue for me, maybe I am strange, I guess, who knows. For me, I would like to know why. Even if it doesn't make sense, I like to know why a person thinks a certain way. Why a person did this and did that. I believe there are so many people on this earth that are that have been emotionally hurt. For instance, there is a person I speak to, and there have been people I have spoken to as well. With some of those people, they can't really handle being disagreed with. I believe when it comes down to things about them, criticism about them, even if it is innocent, like, hey, like you need to change this, you need to change that, you need to stop being so negative, blah, 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 you know, and probably some more things, some people can't handle being disagreed with in some ways, I would say.
because I want to be a peacemaker, because I want things to, sometimes I may, you know, challenge some things, but a lot of the time I may not really say much of anything. I think there are a lot of people who want to be heard. And I don't think it is wrong if they can respectfully express themselves, express themselves in a way that is not rude. I think that is acceptable. Some people may criticize you and say very rude things and think that they can do it because they may think that that is expressing themselves um, in a correct way. Really depends on the case. Really depends how each person is. You know, you have to take those things and factor. Even if a person doesn't know what they are talking about. Some people just want to be heard. Now, I think it can get out of hand sometimes, but in general, I think some people want to be heard. Maybe as a child, they did not have a voice, as in, they could not really say much to their mother or father back when they were younger. Like, hey, mom, I don't like this, Ken. You know, why is this? You know, like, and stuff like that. Maybe their communication with their parents were limited in a particular sense. Perhaps their mother and father did not pay much attention to them. So imagine being a child. And I believe as a child, you need attention. You need love. You need your needs met. Imagine, I am not saying to spoil your child, but imagine not having your needs met. Maybe some of your needs were met, but let's say in a sense you had to depend on yourself. Imagine how that can really mess up a child and then as they grow up, then now they are an adult, probably either traumatized or, or they resent how they grew up so now that they are an adult probably many of them like hey i am going to express myself no one is going to shut me up i am going to say this i am see i believe things will go to the extreme probably because one of the reasons i think probably because they really could not say certain things when they were younger. I believe as kids, uh, we have to be respectful to um, our parents. So yes, we can't say very bad things. I am saying that I'm talking about like regular communication. Probably some people could not really get too much of that. And as a child, you don't know too much. So some people may begin blaming themselves like, hey, why doesn't my mother want me want to speak to me much? Why doesn't my father want to speak to me much? Like, is it because of me? Is it because I am trash? Is it because I am not worth it? Is it because like, you know, I am not worthwhile. I am telling you, I believe that stuff can be very damaging. So now as an adult, like 
some people may say like, hey, whether it is going to make people are mad, I am going to express myself. Even if I am wrong, I am going to express myself. I am going to say whatever flies off of my head, you know, because no one will be able to limit my speech. I am telling you, I believe it can go too far. So if you run into people like that, in some cases, I am not saying to take abuse. Let me say that. In some cases, you may have to allow people to just talk. Even if you don't agree. Even if you don't agree, sometimes you just have to let people speak. Uh, depending on the case, uh, choose to not disagree with them verbally, depending on what it is. Just have them speak, and whether it makes sense or not, let's say they are telling you something you know is wrong. And depending on how everything is, just let them speak and show that they show that you are listening to them and and i believe in many cases you may have to pray for people like this and you may say to me kevin that is not fair because i want to be able to express myself i want to you know be able to disagree all the time and stuff like that I believe that shows immaturity. If one person is acting wrongly, why would you choose to act wrongly too? Because you want things to be so-called fair, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth? That is immaturity. I believe if you are a Christian, actually everyone should do this, if there is a fire, you should be, depending on the case and whatever, but you should be the water to the fire. As a Christian, everything, some things are not going to be fair, and that is just the way it is. Sometimes you have to take pain for another person's benefit, and there is nothing wrong with that. You just have to pray to God to become stronger. We have to become more patient. We have to become more humble. We have to become more long-suffering. You say that you want to be stronger in God. You want, you know, this and that from God. and But look how you react to people. Do you believe the gift that God gave you, you should hold it to yourself? Well, you know, I got the gift to blah, 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 and I don't like people, and that's wrong. That is wrong. We have to deal with difficult people. In some cases, we may have to encounter rude people and stuff like that that is normal so what you have to do is mature more as a person it doesn't really matter what the other person is doing of course um let me say this be cautious be safe you know don't fall into a trap on purpose depending on the case of course <laughs> But it doesn't really matter, in general, what the other person is doing. What are you doing? What are you saying? Are you arguing back? Are you cussing them out back? Are you acting like a, a ignorant person back to them? We should not. Not to say that I am perfect. Not to say that I do everything right. But we have to be different. 
you say you want to uh, be great in God. If you want to be great in God, you have to be a lover of people. Did you know that? Do you think that it's only between you and God? It is not only between you and God. Yes, it's you and God first, yes, but it is you, God, and people too. We have to be a servant of people. Am I telling you, you have to go to everyone's house and be their slave and watch their shoes? I am not saying that, but you have to be a servant of people. You, you have to be a helper of people. We are not here only for ourselves. It is not only between us and Jesus. No, that is wrong. Because how can you say you love Jesus, but you don't love people? How can you say that you can help, you would help Jesus, but you don't even help like a, a random person? You are a liar. If you say you love God, but don't love people, you are a liar. You don't love God because if you love God, you will love people. Being a servant of Jesus Christ is not only about knowing so much about the Bible and stuff like that. Knowledge is good, but you have to put it in action. I hope this makes sense. And if you look into the Bible, what does it speak about? If you read into the New Testament, I believe parts of the Old Testament too, but let me uh, make it you know, straight. If you read in the New Testament, it talks about helping people. So we have to change. We have to change to become better so we can win souls for Jesus Christ. Some people may say, Kevin, you are weak. Kevin, people take advantage of you. Yes, some people do. But there is a reason behind that. If you are going to try to help some people, yes, you may run into some people that are not so good in my opinion. Let's go to Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 23. Follow along if you can, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, <laughs> which is very important, gentleness, goodness, faith, 23, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So we need to have these attributes. We need to grow stronger in these attributes. We have to. I really hope all of this makes sense. Let me stop here. May God bless us.